Hi, I'm Matt Hinkle and today we'll be going over a fire ground method of calculating friction loss called the hand method. You must remember that these fire ground methods are developed to give you the friction loss and not the pump discharge pressure. You will use the friction loss combined with the nozzle pressure to determine what your pump discharge pressure should be. When using the hand method, you are calculating the friction loss per 100 feet of hose. You can perform the hand method with inch and three quarter hose or two and a half inch hose. Let's review real quickly on how to calculate the pump discharge pressure, or PDP. Before we get into the hand method, we need to understand what pump discharge pressure is. Ultimately, that's what you're trying to get as a, as a driver operator. So we're looking for pump discharge pressure, which is the pressure that's actually on the pump panel. Uh, and the way that we're going to do that is we have to know the nozzle pressure and the friction loss added together. When we get further along in the friction loss, we also have elevation pressure and appliance pressure loss. But for right now, we're just going to focus on nozzle pressure and friction loss. So to know the nozzle pressure, you have to know what kind of nozzle that you have. You'll have 50 PSI smoothbore nozzles, 50 PSI fog or combination nozzles, 75 PSI fog nozzles, 100 PSI fog nozzles, or any other combination that are manufactured. You'll have to look on the nozzle to see what pressure it operates at and the GPM settings or the fixed setting of the nozzle. So right now, we're going to use the hand method to calculate the friction loss based off of how many gallons per minute are flowing through the nozzle. But then, we have to use the nozzle pressure. For instance, if it's a 100 PSI fog nozzle, we have to add the friction loss plus the nozzle pressure to find out what the pump discharge pressure is going to be, which is what the pump panel should read, the pressure on the pump panel. So let's get started with the hand method. What you're going to do is imagine your hand, left hand or right hand, it doesn't matter, uh, and you're going to put the number 12 in the center of your palm. This is for inch and three quarter hose, and it's also going to be friction loss per 100 feet. So on your thumb, you'll have one, then going along your fingers, you're going to have number two, three, four, and five. Those are just multipliers that you're going to use to determine the friction loss. The GPM settings are listed at the top of the fingers. So starting with the thumb, you have 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200. Commonly, this is going to be 95, 125, 150, 200. Uh, but just to simplify it, this is just a fire ground method. It doesn't have to be exact. This is 100, 125, 150, 175, 200. So how it works is you're going to determine what gallonage you want your nozzle at. Uh, say you're going to flow 100 gallons per minute. Then all you do, use the multiplier on one of the fingers, which is going to be the thumb, because it's associated with 100, and you're going to multiply it by the number in the center of the palm, which is 12. So if you want to flow 100 GPM, you're going to multiply 1 times 12, which is 12, and that's going to give you 12 PSI friction loss per 100 feet of hose. So if you're using 200 feet of hose, you'll have 12 plus 12, which is 24, and you'll have 24 PSI friction loss per 100 feet of hose. You'll do that with any combination of length or gallon setting, uh, gallonage. So, for instance, 150 gallons per minute. If we're going to do 150 gallon per minute, out of the line, we'll multiply 3 times 12, which is 36. So there's 36 PSI friction loss per 100 feet of hose. Now all that's doing is telling you the friction loss in the hose. It's not telling you your pump discharge pressure. So let's use the same example uh, with 100 feet of inch and three quarter hose flowing 150 gallons a minute. We're using a 100 PSI fog nozzle as an example. So what we're going to do is determine the friction loss first. We're going to have 150 gallons per minute out of 100 feet. So it's 3 times 12, 36. So friction loss is going to be 36. The nozzle pressure was a 100 PSI fog nozzle, so that's going to be the pressure of the nozzle. So the pump discharge pressure will equal 136 PSI. You can do that in any combination of the gallonage uh, or the length. You just have to remember with the hand method, this is per 100 feet. So if you're using a 200 foot line or 300 foot or however you have your truck set up, it's going to vary depending on how, how long the line is and also what gallonage is going through that line. So to do the two and a half inch method, you're going to rewrite the hand and you're going to have to use different numbers. Okay, now I have the hand method set up for two and a half inch hose. Um, and this is honestly not my preferred method of fire ground method for two and a half inch hose. I prefer the subtract 10 method, uh, which you'll see that soon. Uh, in the articles on our website and another video. So to rewrite it for two and a half inch hose, 
you write hundreds of gallons per minute on the fingers. So you have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. In between each finger, you can write the 50 gallon per minute increments. So you have 150, 250, 350, and 450. And then at the base of the fingers, you can have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And in between the fingers, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So the way that it works, it's the same uh, kind of setup. You're going to calculate friction loss per 100 feet of hose. This is not pump discharge pressure. It's just the friction loss in the 100 foot line, two and a half inch line. So as an example, if you want to flow 100 gallons per minute through the two and a half inch line, the way that you do it is you use the multiplier and multiply it times the first digit of the gallons per minute. So one times two is two. So you have two PSI friction loss per 100 feet of hose on a two and a half inch hose. Let's move over to say uh, 500 gallons per minute. If we're going to use 500 gallons per minute, we use our multiplier at the base of the pinky finger and it'll be 5 times 10. So it's 50 PSI friction loss per 100 feet of two and a half inch hose. So you'll just do that with any, any number, any gallon inch setting and then remember your length is in 100 feet. 100 foot section, so this is going to be per 100 feet. So let's write out a, an actual pump discharge pressure using this. Uh, so we'll say, we'll keep the 500 GPM. Say you're using a rapid attack monitor or some kind of blitz monitor, uh, and you're going to use 200 feet of line at 500 gallons per minute. So we'll calculate it. We'll say that that's a 100 PSI fog nozzle, just as an example. So 500, it's going to be 5 times 10, because we're using the multiplier. 500 gallons per minute, it's going to be 50. Now that's 50 per 100 feet. I said we're going to use 200 feet. So we're going to have to do that, multiply that times 2, it's going to be 100 PSI. So our friction loss is going to be 100. Our nozzle pressure, we're going to say that we're using a 100 PSI fog nozzle on that blitz monitor. So we're going to write 100 for it also. So that means that your pump discharge pressure is going to be the addition of the nozzle pressure plus the friction loss which is going to be 200 PSI. So that's what your pump panel should read if you want to flow 500 gallons a minute through a two and a half inch line using a blitz monitor or something like that. You'll also see using master streams, monitors, that you'll add 25 PSI for the master stream or the appliance um, because of the friction associated with the master stream. I didn't do that here, but that's going to be majorly determined by the manufacturer of your uh, monitor and also just flow testing. You have to flow those to see if it's actually using 25 PSI of friction loss through the uh, master stream or if it's not. You just have to get out there and try it and flow test it. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to write in the comments section uh, and we'll try to respond back and help you understand it if you have any questions. Thanks.